Okay, we're going to introduce particle pictures, which is visual representations of chemical reactions based on the atoms that are involved. So let's start with a chemical reaction that we're all quite aware of. It's when hydrogen Remember, hydrogen is one of our diatomic elements. So therefore, hydrogen never comes by itself. When we say hydrogen, we mean H2. Reacts with oxygen, also one of our genine molecules, or our high 7. Oxygen is a little bigger, so we'll draw it like that. to produce water. Which is an oxygen and two hydrogens. Now, we also need to balance this because right now we have one, two, atoms of hydrogen and on the reactant side and two atoms of hydrogen on the product side. But we have two atoms of oxygen on the reactant side and only one atom of oxygen on the product side. So we need to put a two in front of water and a two in front of hydrogen. So this is what particle pictures look like. I'm trying to make them about the same size, but. Now, the way it looks right now, these are all gases. If I was going to draw water as a liquid, the difference is, is those have intermolecular forces of hydrogen bonding. But right now, though, we're going to focus on gases. So let's do another one. Now let's see what it looks like when we have more complicated coefficients like such. So how do I know how this forms? Well, let's talk about nitrogen. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. Here's the dot diagram for nitrogen which is with its five valence electrons. So it actually has one, two, three open spots that it needs to either share or gain electrons to be happy. This is a covalent compound. So when nitrogen forms a compound with hydrogen, they're both nonmetals, so they share electrons. Nitrogen is more electronegative, so it's going to share electrons unevenly. With hydrogen, like such. So hydrogen has one valence electron, nitrogen has three. So it's going to form three bonds. Here will be the dot diagram. like such, and here will be the structural diagram. If you don't remember much about bonding, we will learn more about bonding in future lessons. This is just a brief introduction. 
So let's go ahead and balance this because right now this is not an adequate depiction. This is how we would draw nitrogen. This is how we would draw hydrogen, smaller. It doesn't matter if you draw circles or color them in or have them different colors. It doesn't really matter. It's more of a depiction to help you. So let's talk about how the fact that it's not balanced right now. I can see the tricky part is going to be hydrogen. Hydrogen has a three on one side and a two on the other. We always double the odd quantity to make it easier. So If you have three hydrogen molecules reacting with one nitrogen molecule, you're going to form two ammonias like such. And that's a balanced chemical equation, and that's what my particle diagram would look like. Most of the time, they use boxes to show that this is a system. Thing that's hard about gases is there's gases everywhere. So you have to have a closed system in order to not have a contaminated sample. And that's how we draw particle pictures.